<laughs> so yeah. I'm here in, in Stockholm um, with John Fury. So actually, John, put your badge up for there me. There you go. Uh, cool. And we're, so we're up in it. We've snuck off to the Bidded Me <laughs> in the Massan Conference Centre, haven't we? Surrounded by all these really lovely poster designs over the years. Uh, so give me a few of your favourites. All right. Definitely the New Yorker. Uh, oh, yeah. So this one over here. Hello. Hi. Yeah. So we love this one. So yeah. yeah. All right, so lots and of people I don't know. Past. So what's Atlanta? Now? And there's New York. Yeah. yeah so okay. it's got it's got. So <laughs> it's it's the it's the view from Stockholm, and then you've got <laughs> Stockholm, and then you've got. I gotta got... show everybody in New York this little. Uh, yeah, there's New York. This is, they might take it offense, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's cool. So I really yeah. like this one up here. Well, that one's really great. We're talking about the type there being really, really nice. Um, but mm. this one, we well. I love this one, the motion in it. In the black and the white. Yeah. But yeah, it's good stuff. So, um, yeah. tell me, tell me a bit about what you do. So, I, I started out, I, I was working for NASA, I was doing environmental monitoring on the space station, and yeah. I felt like, you know, there were so many problems here on Earth that technology that we were trying to develop could be brought to bear on. So, you know, we're talking about the same issues. We've got you know, astronauts living in a cramped space, there's very little, you know, up and down, you know, transportation, so you have all the stuff piling up, yeah. you have to recycle air and water, um, and also you don't have access to laboratories to train people, you know, you can't send the water samples off to yeah. be tested, and, you know, there's there's nowhere to do that, so it had to be done on board. So, um, working in, you know, in water testing, we realized that there might be some, you know, carryover between this and, and the needs to test water in developing countries. Yeah. Um, so I left NASA, you know, for lots of reasons, but to get my PhD was one. Yeah. And I worked in Bangladesh testing wells for microbial contamination, and the technology we were using was very expensive and required a laboratory and trained technicians, and we felt like there must be alternatives, and then we, we found there actually were. And so based on that, we, we decided that the, the, the need was to basically make this technology available in developing countries, also make sure that it's scientifically validated so that we're not trying to give a, a second best solution. We want to show mm. that this technology is just as reliable. So we've been working on that. And then we also have been so working... So it's called M-Water. M-Water is yeah. what we're calling it. And the M is because of mobile. So we have focused on you know, making this data immediately available um, to other people. So the way we've been able to do that is with Android smartphones. We have an app that basically can add data to a particular water source, and yeah. then people can use the app to find out the results of other tests that were done in that source. So if you have, you know, a community health worker, they can go get the data on a particular water point, and it doesn't have to be that they did the test themselves. They don't have to, it doesn't get buried in paperwork in folders and files somewhere. Yeah. It gets instantly updated. People can even leave comments about the water source, you know, whether it was working, whether it was not working, what the price of the water was, things like that. Yeah. So they can share that with their neighbors. And yeah. ultimately, we, we want it to be a very uh, people-centered, participatory be. approach so that people would actually find out about their own water quality and, and advocate for better water yeah. quality. So we saw, um, uh, well, well, UN Habitat, is it, was it Lars who we saw yeah. before? Yeah, so, so, so they're, they're your biggest customer at the moment, UN Habitat in Kenya, yeah. yeah? So UN Habitat has always had an interest in building this kind of local capacity. And um, their interest is, is also in, you know, making it possible for local municipalities, health workers, anybody to do their own water tests. Yeah. So we had a really good, you know, relationship in that way because we had similar interests. In, and they wanted to see this technology taken more seriously by other people in the, in the WASH community. And we felt the way to do that was to jointly do basically a validation study where we compare it to scientifically validated methods side by side. We did it in triplicate. Yeah. And uh, we're going to publish so that data. Did you get um, you know, any seed funding along the way to get this we, moving? We had a small investment from uh, a private donor that was just interested in seeing the idea of the mobile app great. take off, but it yeah. was very small and it, and it covered us for the summer and it was yeah. great. So alongside of this validation study, we were able to validate the, um, the mobile app that we were using and show that it can, you know, work reliably in the field and, and we made a lot of changes as a result of you know obviously what we learned. So it's good to meet you. 
And okay. you're based in New York, aren't you? We're so we're going to get together in late October when some of us it. are over there. And, yeah. we're, and you're gonna, we're going to get you together with Katie and Henry as well from Flo. So yeah. um, thanks we'll a lot, John. To that. Thanks. Thanks. thanks.